So today's workout is going to run a similar format to the classes in the gym. Um, we're going to have a couple of movements, uh, pair them together, and then we're going to move on to the next batch of movements. So you see here, it's going to freeze frame for a second, you'll get an idea of what's coming up. We're going to go through them on the video anyway, so you'll get a, a little kind of run through and a look at the technique as well. Also, um, yeah, I kind of, I've heard a few folks are, are uh, sending out emails and, and passing these around to friends and family, which is brilliant. Um, I encourage that and I'm grateful for that. Um, but it also means I probably have to be careful for um, swearing too much, which is one of my um, things or ticks or whatever. So apologies. Um, yeah, it'd be a bit more of a universal or a PG rated video workout going forward. So first up is a 1990 hip drill, uh, really good for hip mobility, especially again to counteract all the sitting down at the moment. The key with these ones though is to go slow. So basically, um, just make sure there's no pain on the inside of the knee with these. So slow and time these with your breathing as well. This one's just a variation. It's another good mobility drill, which I picked up from just, I guess, Jiu Jitsu and yoga over the years. So again, just really make sure there's no pressure on the, the back knee, the trailing leg, the inside of the knee. So I'm doing is I'm just kind of um, arching, leaning forward, stretching the glute, and just turn around. I'm trying to get a stretch through the, the upper back and good for hip mobility as well. So again, the key is just take your time on these. I'm probably going to go for about eight to ten repetitions on each side. So again, with these guys, whatever side we're pressing with, the dumbbell or the kettlebell, it's the opposite leg that's up in the air. So what I'm trying to do here is keep my glutes active, tuck the hips under, and trying to keep my hips as steady as possible. The key as well is I'm not overarching or arching my lower back. I want to flatten my back and keep my core switched on. If you want to make things a little more challenging, you can try this variation. So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing the um, single arm floor press with the bridge, as you'll see here. So there's the bridge, floor press. I'm going to reset. I'm going to do a floor press. And I'm going to do a weighted sit up. So it's the first part of the Turkish get-up. So this is kind of a way of training the Turkish get-up a little bit in the background. So floor press, reset, sit up. Again, with the sit up, I want to keep my arms strong. So I'm pushing to the sky the whole time. And my trailing arm, I'm pushing into the floor. I want to keep that straight leg on the ground as well, push down. So if the weight you have is too light, or if you want to practice your Turkish get-ups a little bit too, maybe this is a good variation to throw into the workout today. So that brings us on to the next group of exercises, uh, Chinese row. We're going to go for 10 in each arm here, again in a split squat stance, so back heel is slightly off the floor. My back leg could be probably a little more bent here actually, but um, again I want to keep my back arched. Strong posture, strong torso, or a stable torso at least, that I'm not kind of sweeping or swinging side to side. I'm trying to really engage the muscles just under my, my armpit along the ribcage there, the lats. So again, arch draw the shoulder blade back and get a squeeze at the top. Romanian deadlift next, uh, we've gone over these a good bit. Again on the way down the weight kind of tracks between my shins, not way out in front of me. And top position squeeze the glutes, tuck the hips under, back flat. Again three points of contact with the feet, I want to have my big toe, my little toe and my heel pressed into the floor. And from there we can pretty much transition straight into the kettlebell swing. And I always find it's a pretty good transition because we don't need to adjust the feet too much here. Okay, I think people go super wide in their stance and there's no real need. So one again, points of contact, try and drive the heel down into the floor so we're not getting pulled up onto our toes. Strong core at the top. Back to a mobility piece here, again for upper back and for posterior chain too really along the back. So prone scorpions. So probably going to go eight each side, although I'm going to do a few more of these you can. Trying to keep the hands on the floor. And again, with any of these mobility pieces, we're just trying to take our time. Work with your breathing here. Don't rush through these. The final piece then is the arch ups. So again, I'm trying not to use too much lower back here. I'm trying to squeeze through the glutes. So there shouldn't really be any stress in the lower back. So squeeze the glutes here to initiate the movement. And if this is easy for you guys, what you can do is you can alternate um, arm and leg. So you can raise your left arm, right leg then the opposite arm and leg too. And then pretty much the good old uh, hip flexor stretch just to finish here, trying to get at least 30 seconds each side. Um, ideally, maybe even build up a couple of minutes on each side in this one. 30 second sets back and forth. 